our Red Sea already because Exodus explains it like this when Moses parted the sea it was like a birth canal it was like it was like a baptism if you will to convert souls especially after the Israelites witnessed the power of God <coughs> we too today are seeing the power of God in the different places and yet we still harden our hearts like Pharaoh the Bible tells us that Pharaoh stood as he watched all not some all his men perish are we gonna be like Pharaoh and perish are we gonna have other people watch that we tarry with that we sing with, that we praise with, that who knows that we might watch and see that they perish. I know even in natural disaster, 
it's not an easy thing to accept. And if it's just hurricane, wind, rain that blows and create this kind of havoc, then I cannot begin to imagine or fathom what kind of havoc God is going to wreak on this earth here mm -hmm. to come with fire and brimstone this time. You see, there's so many different lessons in this one piece, these few verses. Remember, Moses also came out of the tribe of <coughs> the Levites. Mm -hmm. So I did some research and looked and understood that Jacob was the third. So as because of the, the third um, tribe to Israel, then fell under the Levites. And those are priest people, mm -hmm. priestly people. Mm -hmm. So it makes sense now why God decided that he would choose him to go and lead his people out of the promised land. Trust me, I do believe that Pharaoh himself was a little bit afraid because he went back to God and told him. He went back and he said, the people are not listening to me. What should I say to them? What did God say? Go back and talk to them. Go back and speak to them. Now, it can be a very intimidating thing when you think that you're doing something. Like your boss might say, listen, when Pastor Sherwin come in in the morning, tell him to do so and so. I cannot tell him myself because I have to leave to go to a meeting. He go and he will tell him. Does it mean that he's going to do what he says? He might feel like, okay, yes, maybe I'll do it, but I'm not sure. But because he said that I'm going to do it, I'll do it. Sometimes we can't waver like that. We need encouragement, just like God encouraged Moses. The staff that he had in his hand, simple staff that he had in his hand, God turned it several times. First time he turned it into a snake, he told him to hold the end of it, and it turned back into a rod. <coughs> So he too, God did that as a sign for him to tell him, get your courage up. I'm with you. Just go back and tell these people that I am with them. I'm not going to bring them this far and not deliver them. So from the time Moses put across his hand, the sea opened. And the people, the Bible said, that the people walked on dry 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 mm -hmm. land mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. god does not do, do things halfway no. he had not made the escape perfect to the people or rather to some people because still there sometimes you still don't believe god found favor with israel Amen. they cried out to him god Moses didn't cry out to God. The people in bondage cried out amen, to God. Amen, amen. Not Moses. Hallelujah. Moses was just the vessel that God used yeah. to go and take them through. Amen. But sometimes we can be so disgusting and murmuring and obnoxious and everything that you can think of. You know, we can't do it for ourselves. We can't do nothing, but we still don't want to know that somebody can tell us this is what you have to do. Mm -hmm. But you have to understand that they have to have appointed people Amen. to do things. Hallelujah. The rod that was given to him was a sign of authority to lead. Yeah. And not everybody can get a rod to lead. Amen. Everybody are a vessel of Almighty God and have an opportunity to do what it is that they need to do. Amen. To deliver and to help to carry across God's people. Amen. Amen. I believe the Israelites were stigmatized by that drama because when I close my eyes and I'm trying to figure out two walls of water dry land walking through and then everything just come right back and seeing all those dead people you know sometimes what Americans would say you become traumatized <laughs> And in as much as we do become traumatized, we still murmur, we still fuss, we still carry on. Remember, we cannot do it for ourselves. So we need amen, to rely amen, amen. on amen. God. Hallelujah. If you don't want to listen to anybody else or what anybody else have to say, 
you have to go and now rely on God. Amen. We have to rely on God. So with everything that was done, can you imagine now <coughs> that these people are camped out somewhere? Hearing Pharaoh, seeing Pharaoh, because I know that sometimes in the dark when you have a little wood fire, anybody can see from a distance a little light. We have to learn to ignore what we see and what the ears hear and just go through. Amen, amen, amen. You know how sometimes when people are mourning and they're walking different roads and all of these different things and they're saying, come on, go through, number one, go through. What is our problem? What, what is the block in our way that we seem to cannot go through? What more can Jesus do? We are seeing every single thing there is to see about what is happening. And God is talking about <coughs> our salvation. Is it sure this evening? We can blink the eye like this and open the eye and a house can just be gone. Just knowing that within yourself you just saw that house. And you close the eye for a minute and open and it's gone. We need to understand that we need to encourage each other. Psalms 136 says, To him which divided the Red Sea into parts, for his mercies enjoy forever. But we can't always say that. <coughs> we know we say that his mercies endure forever, but we need to understand and to know that his mercies endure forever. As long as we are willing to serve thee, yes. praise him, and worship him, because that is the only thing that God requires from us. You can't just say his mercies endure forever, and you're doing what you want to do. No. Every other time, his mercies is not going to always endure forever with you. Or with us, or with me. <coughs> we have to know what we are doing. We have to know that in order for us to get favor from God, that we need to be doing the right things. Can you imagine the Bible still saying that they walk on dry land? Look at that. Wet water separated and dry land. Mm -hmm. We have to know and we have to understand that when God say for us to move, pick up and go, just go. Mm -hmm. Just move. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. I could only imagine seeing the Israelites knowing that, okay, I hear Pharaoh and I hear his horseman coming, but I'm looking right and I'm looking left and I see nothing but I see in front of me. Where are we going to go? What are we going to do? Where's the hope? Where's the hope? Realizing that the army was coming and there's no hope. But remember, faith is the assurance of things hoped for. The evidence is not yet seen for the Israelites. But they needed to use the eyes of faith and just to have the faith to go to. Sometimes we just need to pack up and move. Even though the pathway is not clear, or even when it doesn't exist. There's sometimes we have some pathways that doesn't exist here. <coughs> that does not exist. You hear me? Does not exist. There's no way that we can come out of certain things. But God in his infinite mercies at the time <coughs> when he need to will reveal the exits Amen. and the openings for us. I was looking through um, a quote, exegesis of Exodus 4. It says, the means by which God hardens a man's heart is not necessarily by any extraordinary intervention on his part. It may be by the ordinary experiences of life operating through the principles and the character of human nature, <coughs> which are of his appointment. So God appoints certain things at any time. So he also made it possible to harden Pharaoh's heart because he was 
fear and who God was. Just like we know who he is, if you really know him. But he was playing with him. So God said, I'm going to show you. The same very power and king and you so mighty, I gave it to you. Move mountains and to be able to can pray and help one another. And these are my words to you today. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. that says something about pride not so yes the, the, the great Solomon writes that 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 pride comes before a fall <coughs> and yet from him him history sometimes we get to the, the the Red Sea to our Red Sea come on now and and we wonder should we go should we cross Shall we go over the river? There's a song that says, Shall we? Hallelujah. Come, come, come. Shall we? Sing it nice now. Sing it nice. Shall we? Be
Jerusalem's school room. Where I school in Jerusalem, in Jerusalem's school room. thankful to be here to to break bread and to to share and I want to say that the the first speaker I I want to applaud her and I also want to applaud the second speaker amen mm -hmm. and um, someone said I think it's the first speaker say find that Pharaoh mm -hmm. in your life mm -hmm. and immediately as she said that the, 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 the word of the Lord came unto me what is holding you back Mm. Ah. Mm. And uh, the second speaker talk about searching yourself. Now we get a lot of uh, a lot of exegesis on the board, <coughs> a lot of, of opinions or um, ideologies about the Red Sea. Mm -hmm. But uh, when we talk about the Red Sea, we talk about water, and everything is. Nat carnal and spiritual, natural and spiritual. Mm -hmm. In the spiritual <coughs> realm, we're not in the literal water now. In the spiritual <coughs> realm, the water, walking on the water means mental potentiality. A big word. Amen. <laughs> Amen. God. Mental potential. potentiality. Perfect. And that means that uh, we everything is dealing with the thoughts the sea the thoughts the waves is the change of function of the thoughts within the mind are you there mm -hmm. yes. and it's a change of my word consciousness mm -hmm. hallelujah mm -hmm. and in going through I just wanted to touch your neighbor and say, don't settle for what you have. 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 Hallelujah. To walk over the water with that wave of potential. You have to have potential. Hallelujah. Potentiality. We separate in it. It's potential. Continue. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, we want you to know that you have to have faith in God. Because a divine miracle was about to take place. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. It wasn't just any ordinary miracle. The sea opening. You see, I could testify to the fact that I saw the sea open in Coney Island. We had a baptism there a morning with King Shepherd. The sea was midday because it was a Sabbath day. The sea was rough and water was high. And people said, well, and he came from dialysis. And people said, we don't think that this baptism will take place today. And King Shepherd said, don't worry, Dr. Duncan, we have consciousness up in here. <laughs> and we got to the water. And there was like a road way out in the water. The water was low, but there was a road way out. And he had to go all the way out. And I'm going in. there, And the waves moving in my head. And I'm saying, Lord, did this he come back here right now? This thing will kill me. <laughs> and he's just saying, come, Dr. Duncan, come. And he's not going to stop at all. He's just going out. Mm -hmm. And there was a pathway in the ocean. And he went out there, do his thing and came back on shore and when he reached as soon as he reached back on shore the water closed Amen. somebody gotta give god some praise Amen. Amen. hallelujah so i could testify i may not be able to testify with moses and them but i could testify in this age of our lord that i see the water part Amen. hallelujah hallelujah we are in a new church <coughs> praise god 
<coughs> and this is to talk about oppression, trial and deliverance and all that. Amen. And we know to walk on water is not an easy thing. <laughs> But your potential is always present when you are in the Lord. Are you there with me? Yes. 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 Some of us have potential that are waiting to be exposed. And that demand that you must never settle for what you already accomplish. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. One of the greatest enemies in our lives is to settle for the potential that you have now you want to be this and you are that and you settle at that place and you remain in that position for 30 years and resign at that but there's always more hallelujah there's always more don't accept your present state or your present position in life as your final stage. Amen. You could have gotten to the water and stand at the water without no miracle taking place. Amen. One of the key to that is to believe. Because if you don't believe that the sea is going to part, the sea will never part because you don't believe. If you're in the church Sunday to Sunday, and uh, you don't believe that uh, God is in this place uh, and we have a divine miracle is going to take place in this house uh, you would come every day with the potential you all you have now and not look forward to extend it so it be, could become potentiality Amen. are you there yes. Yes. hallelujah yes. Yes. so we have to always look forward look Hallelujah. You look beyond because the miracle is always in the great beyond. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Now I, I hear someone suggest now that um, faith is the substance mm -hmm. of things hopeful. Mm -hmm. And the evidence of things mm -hmm. not seen. Mm -hmm. But faith, for you to actualize faith, you must have the vision and the desire in the inner Christ conscious position. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you there with me? Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. You have to have that desire in you that I am going to cross Jordan. Come on. I know we got some pharaohs behind me and they're pretty close. We have some oppositions that are with me, opposing me along my journey. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. But you have to believe that God is able to open doors for you that he has never opened before. Because yesterday gone, huh? and tomorrow will never be yours. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And because of that, it is always time to be accepted excited about the future it's time to be excited about the unknown mm -hmm. always propelling faith with trust mm -hmm. hallelujah and believing that when I call it into existence it's going to happen mm -hmm. that if I stand at the water and I rebuke Pharaoh hallelujah God will open it it's not an easy thing to stand at the water six o'clock <laughs> And the water 400 feet high. And uh, you're hearing the horses and the chariots coming. Coming. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they're coming and they're coming and they're coming. And the water not moving. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then when you look back, you could actually see yeah. Pharaoh and the chariots coming. But it's not moving. 8 o'clock, it's not moving. <coughs> and they're coming a little closer. Oh, but God will move in the ninth hour. Amen. There's always an hour that God is going to move yes, in. Yes, yes. So don't worry about the time because time is in God's hand. Amen. And God will open the waters in His time. Hallelujah. We praise the name of Jesus. Amen. 
name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It's not an easy thing to do church work. For people that look for miracles quick. Yes. <laughs> and when they're not seeing the miracles, they believe that all showing the leader showing could do is sing. <laughs> and Mother Grace could smile well. <laughs> However, the Bible, the word of God indicated to us that faith working in substance accomplishes all things. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When you have faith in yourself, sometimes you're looking for faith in the minister, but there's no faith in you. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. You have to have faith in yourself first. Hallelujah. And then when you come to church, you come expecting. Hallelujah. Because on your way coming, some of the fairest staff gonna be dropping off and leaving you alone. That you could say, I am on my journey through. Hallelujah. Because what happens is that when you hear the pharaohs and them will keep that potential dormant, it will never allow you to rise. You are a new church, a young church. <laughs> and it's going to have a lot of pharaoh, a lot of chariots going to be on the way. <laughs> a lot of horsemen mm. out there mm. with a lot of riders. Mm. You're going to have people hi, hi. that pharaoh will come and take a seat. Mm. And you will have riders riding. In, 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 right inside the church and the devil will put in the heart of Judas Iscariot to be betray but you have to be prayed up you have to be fired up and one thing I want to tell you today is that Moses believed God he was a leader in every capacity and not only he believed God, he believed in where he came from. Walk with me here. Something yeah. coming through. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. You could only fight the fight when you fight where God called you. Amen. 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 Yes. 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 I, I know that uh, I've been around leader. Show it since he's small so. <laughs> I've seen him grown into a man. And he liked the Pentecostal thing. Because his own family is Pentecostal and nothing wrong with that. But you got some pharaohs, hallelujah. <coughs> you got some riders, hallelujah. You have a mixed tribe inside the house. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. And your task will become heavier. Yeah. Moses, what you have in your hand? Uh, Teacher, brother, yeah. Lila, what you have in your hand? Yeah. If you have nothing in your hand, you can't stretch it out across God people. Amen. Amen. Come, come, come. You must have something divine in your hand. Yes. You need to know your connection with Almighty God. Everybody have their own connection. Amen. And God call you in a place on a particular mountain. You have to seek God face. That where he call you from, he will lead you through the valleys of the shadow of death. And you will fear no evil. But when you walk with the Lord in the light of his word, he will shine a glory on your way. Amen. Don't worry about nobody saying no. Mm. I know it from two schools of thought. I spent two years in the Pentecostal church, in the school, and I was a Baptist. But the Lord, I never left. But the, there was some connection I had to come back to the place. When the water began to get bitter, mm. I had to come back to the place mm. where I could feel God a little more. Yes. Not that I wasn't feeling him. I know the tap dance. Yes. I have it clean. Mm -hmm. 
Nevertheless, if God said, I want the church to grow, and you got to grow and for me to go to. Mm -hmm. The church has lost its sever. Mm -hmm. And most of us are just dressed up and looking good. <laughs> Hallelujah. But we try on the inside. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And people would say, it's all about the word. Hallelujah. Yes. But when outworks is dead. <laughs> Have we considered Jesus a minute and the miracles Jesus performed? A spiritual church is a church of miracles. Yeah. God must move in, in, in a different way when you are a spiritual church. You cannot be from Pharaoh. No. And however, Pharaoh never put away his magic. <laughs> And don't forget, Moses grew up as a Rajai yes. in Pharaoh's house. Yes, yes. So he got the magic. He got it. What God did was intensify yes. the magic yes. that he had. Yes. Show yes. that God is bigger. To show him that I am the tetragram. Yes. I am the God that illuminates all things. I am the double chested one. Strong. And I'm stronger than you, Pharaoh, because what you think you have, That's a double portion. I will give you a triple portion. Yeah. And Pharaoh came. And I want you to know that some of Pharaoh people came through. All was not drawn. No. Yes, so true. In the water. Yeah. Mm. So it had some folks gonna look like you. Uh -huh. They will act like you. Uh -huh. They will talk like you. Hello, they will shout like you. Hello, but they're not like you. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. Some of Pharaoh hosts came through. And as the journey with the new church that was baptized going through, Moses had to go up to get the instruction to come back down. He had to leave them for a while. Mm -hmm. And he went up in the mountain and spent some days there. But the second in command that was from a different tribe mm -hmm. did not understand mm -hmm. why he was away so long and the old waves the old waves surfaced. Mm -hmm. yes. The old thoughts surface. The people that was of that nature, they wanted what they used to have in Egypt. Mm -hmm. So they took off their bracelets and their earrings and bring out all the, the time with the drums and whatever. Mm -hmm. Because they wanted like how it used to be. Back in I think there's a message coming through here. Uh huh. Loud and clear. <laughs> Loud and clear. If it is a new church, but there's a new baptism, a new, a new divine order, <laughs> Amen. a new beginning, Amen. a fresh belief, yes. Yes. you oh, must oh, not oh. look back Amen. on what you used to have in Amen. Egypt. Amen. But uh, this will I do, my dear Lord. Lord. Uh -huh. I will remember thee. Onward, Christian soldiers, march chin on to war. You must watch for the cross of Jesus. Because man, mortal man, the faint by the way. Walk with me. Members, I want you to keep your leader's hands up. Talk to me, because what has happened is God is getting ready to move you to the next level. Mm -hmm. Brother should teach a show when you have to teach. Make sure you teach them well. Mm -hmm. No matter who come knowing, no matter how much education you have, there's a new school. Amen. <laughs> Amen. New thought, new school. And that means there is new ways. Amen. New potential, yes. new thoughts, yes. and don't make the church remain stagnant. Network, mm -hmm. because anytime you have a few in a nutshell, and you're not networking, 
but careful who you're networking with. Oh. Hallelujah. Because I will tell you, we have some people hungry for what they left behind. And according to where you go, they try to bring it. And that spirit revives. Mm. When they come back home, it's a new practice. Mm. And you would not be able to do nothing about it. Give them your vision. Let them know, look, this is the deal. The Lord has spoken to me, if you as a visionary, um, teacher Grace, the, but all you have to walk together in one, it doesn't matter who have the vision to cross. The church have to be in preparation to cross. The church have to be ready to cross. Yes. The church have to be in the same consciousness Amen. to cross. Amen. If there are different ways, you would not be able to cross effectively. Because of the fact there will be a tossing in the water. Yes. Because the current will change for you in the water. There's a lot of things in crossing. The current, the weather, the workmen, the belief. Why some say let's go, some believe they're going to sink. And some tired, some weary. We're waiting, the patience running out. You know, so we have to always remember that uh, we have to do and observe according to the law of God. Are you there, church? Yes. Amen. Amen. So once we really come to that place where we understand crossing and the potential of the mind, it begins in the mind. It's by the renewing of the mind. Is not to be conformed to the things of yesterday. But as a new people, you have to wait on the Lord. Amen. So he can give you a new vision. The vision you would have had yesterday. It may not be for right now. But you have to wait on the Lord. So he will give you a new vision. Without a vision, the people perish. perish. Yes. Amen. And if you have to lead people, you have to come as a leader to the people and say, look, this is the vision for the church. There is where we need to be. And teach them how you're going to take them there. Nevertheless, there are some things that are not said. The Spirit of God will infuse his intellectual powers within your chakras. And he would speak with the spirit of intrusion that you could come and say, and the Lord said. Yes. Hallelujah. He will give you a command. Not giving the, the congregation the command to give you. Sure. Because um, plenty of people will have a vision for Mother Grace of a leader show and anyone who easier to talk to. And the spirits say this and the spirits say that. But you as a man or the abort or all your crossing, you are the leaders of the church. And obedience, you cannot cross without obedience. You have to be obedient to command. No matter how you think you know it. That particular day, you may not know it the way you believe that you know it. So therefore, in crossing, you have to have belief in your minister. Anytime a congregation don't believe in the minister and you think that you are above teaching, you don't need a minister. Are you there, church? Yes. You have to believe in your pastor. Yeah? And we will walk, right? And we will walk together and we will cross and we will meet on the other side. Amen. God bless you. Brother Sherwin, I see, I know you don't like things on your head. But when I bless the, that piece of, uh, you know, it's so strange. When I walk in and I see that, oh, somebody else have another piece of cloth like me. <laughs> I didn't know that I had given it to you. Yeah, Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. Amen. I was given that piece of cloth by one of the earthly kings from Ghana. And the first day I came to church with it, he said, I like that piece of cloth. I said, you could have it. 
<laughs> Praise God. But you can wear it as your shawl. But today, I just wanted to put it on it's your crown chakra. Mm -hmm. If you're not comfortable, if comfortable with it, leave it there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. Baptist, not He's a Baptist. Okay. Baptizing. Until you tell him, okay, I don't want fast. <laughs> Thank you. So God bless you. God bless you. Amen. prayer.